Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. It's not a conversation that you probably want to hear, but I'm going to share it with you. Okay? I drove three hours to share it with you today. So you're going to sit here and you're going to listen. All right? Because it works powerfully for me. And I've coached people all over the world now who've had some pretty powerful transformations using these tools. If change were easy, we'd all be the person that we wanted to be, but we're not. We all have struggles. I don't care where you succeed in life. We all have struggles. We all have places that we fall down on our face. People put me on a pedestal. You know, I'm a U.S. Runner of the Year four times now. And people think, wow, you're Tim Van Orden. You do all this. You're great. You're the... I fall on my face all the time in other places. I'm not perfect. But people want to project that over my entire life. Oh, you succeed here, so therefore you must succeed everywhere in your life. It doesn't work like that. Everybody has an Achilles heel or two or three or four. So I've learned how to use my Achilles heels. I've learned how to use my weaknesses and build them into strengths. Most of my life, adult life I should say, I've suffered from pretty severe depression, debilitating depression, to the point where I didn't think I was going to live past 25. And it's not even that I didn't think I was going to live past 25, I didn't want to live past 25. Somehow I made it. Somehow I, I made it to 26, 28, 30, uh, moved to Los Angeles to try to be an actor because what else can a depressed person do? Uh, when you can't hold a job, you don't want to get out of bed, you can't function properly. Actor. Yeah, you work one, two months out of the year, make millions of dollars, that's it, right? Didn't happen. So whoosh, into deep depression again, near homeless in Los Angeles, struggling, struggling, struggling. And then in 2004, right at the very edge, the edge of almost leaving this planet, someone introduced me to a raw diet. And everything changed. And it's not that it was this magical transformation that suddenly my life was fixed and perfect, but it allowed me to get into action enough so that I could get back on my feet. Or maybe just crawl because I wasn't even able to crawl. It gave me enough clarity, enough energy, to get up enough to build a little bit of momentum and to get interested in life again. Now for the past seven and a half years, I've been eating a raw vegan diet and have fallen on my face again and again and again on this journey, in the diet and as an athlete and as a human being. But every time I fall down, I learn something. And I've been taking those lessons and just getting in there because for me, my life is at stake. This is not a hobby. This is not something that I do because it's fun. My life is at stake. If I fail, I cease to exist because I know depression is always right there waiting for me. And I've learned to create tools. I've learned to take those down periods and turn them into ups. I've learned how to take that frown and turn it upside down. 